The South Korean government is planning to revise the current 52-hour-per-week work system. The revisions aim to guarantee more flexibility in working hours and breaks to align with global standards. Our Lee Soo-jin has the details. The South Korean government is aiming to enhance the quality of life for workers and help businesses grow by making changes to the current work system. Finance Minister Chu kyung ho led an emergency meeting on Monday to address the revisions. We will focus on making related laws and systems more flexible so that employees can concentrate better when they are working and can rest and use their vacation days more freely as long as there is an agreement between the employee and the management. The government is making changes to the overtime work system which many have criticized due to a labor shortage suffered by smaller firms. Under the current rules, the maximum number of working hours is 52 hours per week, including 40 regular hours, with a maximum of 12 overtime hours per week. However, under the proposal, the 52-hour limit would no longer be counted on a weekly basis, with the limit to be calculated on a monthly, quarterly, half-yearly or yearly basis. The nation's selective working hour system could also see changes. Currently, employees at companies where the system is in place can decide the start and end times of their workday, along with the number of hours they work each day, as long as they do not exceed the 52 hours per week limit for a period of one month. The government wants to extend that period from one month to three months to allow for more flexibility. And the plans include further efforts to ensure that workers get enough rest time, with workers able to exchange overtime hours worked for paid leave. The government intends to create a new working hour paradigm that guarantees choice, health and rest in order to meet global standards. The revisions will be submitted to the National Assembly for approval between June and July. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.